When you wish upon a star Makes no difference who you are <laughs> I, I just watched the new Pinocchio movie, and I'm not going to lie, it was kind of trash. I mean, it's expected. I'm 29 years old. I mean, I shouldn't be enjoying new kids' movies these days. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I love kids' movies. I'm, a, you know, especially from, like, my era and, be, and before and whatever, because, I mean, that, that was my era. Fuck you. I mean, I like, I like those kind of kids' movies. My era of kids films you know i mean i'm not like excited about the new oh the new great up and coming new kids film that's coming out that's exciting yes oh my god fuck yeah i'm so excited anyway what's up guys how you doing i know it's been a bit but um you guys doing okay for real no 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 i'm actually being quite genuine and quite honest i want to know if you guys are doing okay you know you I mean, you can tell me you know if you're doing all right sure but if you not, if you tell me you're not if you tell me you're not doing okay, I I can't help you. It's just like, hey, how you doing, Tim, or whatever. And they're like, oh, I don't know, I don't want to talk about it. And fuck you, I, I can't help you, you know. Jesus Christ. Um, but what's uh, um, what's been going on? I mean, I'm still I'm I'm doing you know these little solo mini mini pods. Um. Mikey and I are still good buddies. Yeah, we still, yeah, we're always talking, yeah, back and forth and whatnot. You know, he and I are still homies. You know, he's just got a lot of shit he's got to deal with. You know, it's it's life, guys. You know, that's what happens. Um, yeah, he and his, uh, and I know he and his girl are trying to work things out and all that fun shit. You know, he's uh been trying, he's been killing at his at his new job and stuff. Yeah, he's just uh yeah he's just, just grinding. You know, and I've been grinding too. I just started a new job not too long ago as well. Actually, started another new job. So uh, fuck. <laughs> but anyway, um. What's new with me? I watched the new Elvis movie the other day. Um, it was shit. I mean, it wasn't shit. I don't know. It was just a lot to uh, comprehend. It, it felt all. It felt scattered and all over the place and stuff. Like it'd be like, oh, this 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 white boy from from Mississippi, you know, who uh, who sounds like one of them then colored singers, you know, and then all of a sudden it's him playing Hound Dog to like, like. A bunch of fucking people, and then another one. It's him going to like Germany for the for the military, and then his mom dying. And I'm like, can they just like stick with the story instead of bouncing from one era to another? I want to know like what the like how Elvis. I mean, it did it did explain how when young Elvis he got uh, inspired to play music is when he went to like a uh, um, all black go gospel Pentecostal uh, Baptist church and uh, felt the good Lord himself. Oh yeah, but no, it was. It was it was, it was pretty, it was good, you know, it was, um, it was alright, I mean, I wouldn't call it, like, a masterpiece or anything, um, yeah, so, but, no, I, I enjoyed it, it was, ish, but, I, it was alright, it was okay, but, anyway, um, the topic I want to talk about today in this, uh, little mini pod is just 9-11, you know, um, well, it's been, what, 21 years since, 9-11 attacks happen, you know, I can't believe it, it honestly feels like yesterday, I mean, not yesterday, but, you know, it felt like it just happened, and it's crazy that, like, you know, there's adults, you know, alive doing, you know, adult stuff, sort of, that you can ask them where they were on 9-11, they say, oh, I wasn't even born yet, that shit is so fucking mind-blowing, you know, I mean, it's kind of like asking somebody, you know, back in the... I don't know, the 80s, you know, that were born around the time when, when President Kennedy was shot, and they're like, oh, I wasn't alive for that. I mean, clearly, look at me, I'm not, I wasn't alive for Kennedy being shot, of course, but you know what I mean. It, I, th I think now it's like, you know, oh, this specific insane event that happened when I was a child, you know, I, I feel like, you know, everybody, you know, even like, you know, like, like a, like a five-year-old today would, would have saw it, but obviously not because they weren't born, but still, it's just, it's just mind blind, mind blows me that there's some, I mean, hell, I don't think my sister honestly really remembers 9-11. She's, what, 24? I mean, she, I mean, she, I think she like, I mean, she was like really little. She was like three when that, when that happened. So, I mean, yeah. Um, but anyway, um, so. Yeah, that yeah that 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 that's the topic for today, and I'm just, I'm gonna talk about it. where I was uh, during 9/11. So, um, plain and simple, 9/11. I was in the third grade. Yes, I. Um, 2001, my family and I had just moved to Ocala, 
Um, yeah, it's weird. Like you know, if you if you if you know if you know who I am, you know, if, if you know me, like I moved around a lot when when I was a kid. Um, you know, went from like pretty. I think we lived like in four different places since I think till I was about maybe seven or eight. And I mean, a lot of people could say, "Oh, I've done more, more than that." And I'm sure people have. You know, I'm I'm not saying like, "Oh, I was here and I was here, I was here." But luckily, I was stay. I was in the same state. I mean, like, I know there's a lot of people that go from like country to country or state to state. You know, and they're like, "Oh, I didn't have a real childhood home." So I'm very lucky and very fortunate. Actually, you know, we stayed in one spot for a good, you know, twenty odd years. You know, obviously where I established myself and uh grew up and met amazing people met awful people and there you go so um 9-11 yeah i was in the third grade it was weird man i remember um going to school i think i got to school around like my school started early i think it was like i think 7 30 was when they started school, I believe. I can't really remember. I think like you had to, I think you had to be there at seven. I think, I think the first class started at seven thirty. Um, so get there. We're all like me and all the kids are sitting down. The teacher's about to begin the lesson. I think it was like eight o'clock. Uh, a little bit after eight, I remember the principal announced over the over the monitors to have all each teachers each of the teachers in this in the in the school to turn on to the news. And uh, yeah, um, I remember to turn it on, and I think the yeah the the first um, first plane I just hit. I, mean, I think maybe it had been like maybe ten minutes, five ten minutes after it happened. You know, I was a kid. It didn't impact me obviously as hard as someone say if I was my age now back in two thousand one, I would have been devastated. Obviously, of course it was it was weird. Because the only time I have ever seen like a like a building on fire was like I don't know like like in a cartoon, you know I was a big Powerpuff Girls fan back when I was a kid. Yeah, I mean, and they always showed you know buildings on fire and and that in that show. I never seen it you know in real life, so I was like, is this real, really? And you know, we're and, and me and the kids in my class are just like, what the heck's going on? I mean, like why like this like, why 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 is why is it why why is this building smoking right now? Obviously, my teacher was very terrified and very scared, of course. And yeah, it was it was just weird. Um, yeah, because yeah, they're and then all of a sudden they're saying uh, another. I, I can't remember what time that happened with the Pentagon and everything when the Pentagon when, when the Pentagon got hit. And then um, yeah, I and then I remember maybe well I can't remember how many minutes it was after I have to, I have to look it up again. But I do remember my class did um, end up watching the. Uh, Second plane go down, no second plane. Second, yeah, second plane hit the hit the tent, uh, hit the other tower. That was weird. Yeah, I uh, I'd never seen that before. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, it was weird, man. Absolutely weird. Yeah, I think if, if I think if I was an adult, yeah, back then, I would have it would have comprehended a lot more because I was eight. I was just a kid, you know. I mean, obviously now, you know, knowing about it. Being around, be watching it happen, you know, thinking about it now, it's scary. Absolutely. I mean, I think I think anybody my age and even older, even a little bit younger, who actually remembers nine eleven, can tell you the same fucking thing. You know, it's weird. But so I remember, um, we all got we all got out of school. I don't. I think I think we barely. I think we barely made it to nine o'clock. And uh, yeah, we all went, and we all uh, ended up going home. Actually, yeah, and. Uh, yeah, cause, well, my mom told me she said she tried signing us out, <laughs> she said signing us out of school, but then um, yeah, she told me I guess like the administrators were saying like, hey, we're working on things right now, so you gotta like hold on, you know, it's gonna be a bit, and um, yeah, <laughs> but I do remember being in the car, you know, I asked mom like what's going on, and she said she said, honey, you know, bad people, terrorists, um, hit the uh, the hit the twin towers in New York City, and I'm like, oh my god. Wow, and then I asked her, I'm like, um, and I, I I swear to God, I remember I asked her, are these terrorists going to attack Disney World? <laughs> I swear to God, yeah, and I asked that, you know, being, you know, I was eight years old, I didn't know why Disney World getting uh, getting attacked, and mom, honestly, she didn't give me a straight answer, she was kind of like, mm, I don't know, <laughs> you know, so, I mean, uh, man, you know, and I, I, I know it's not, an impactful story. I wasn't in New York. I, I knew a lot of people that were 
in New York or were, you know, traveling during this time. Hell, one of my good buddies, actually, well, he was like seven years old, six, seven years old, living in Staten Island at the time, watching, yeah, just he saw the, the, the two towers on, like, smoking from a distance, you know, and I'm like, dang, I saw that on TV, he saw that shit in real life, you know. Scary, man, absolutely. Um, but, you know, I will post this on YouTube, so if you have, you know, if you want to comment and tell me where you were, during 9-11 as well, feel free, you know, I, uh, I would like, I like, I don't, I don't know, it's kind of interesting hearing, you know, where people were, obviously not me, because, you know, I was just a kid, especially, I, I like hearing, like, you know, people that are much older than me, I like hearing where their stories were, like, I had a cousin of mine that, that was, I think, tr I think in New York, when, when that happened, traveling, I, one, of, one of my best, one of my best buddies was working in New York, and he said, like, he can smell flesh, yeah, just burning flesh from, from all the bodies that were burnt. It's insane. Like, I, uh, God, I don't know, man. It's just uh, traumatic right there. But anyway, no, the, yeah, I, like I said, you know, quick, short little pod. Yeah, I, I like doing these little, like, story time, you know, ish talking pods. Dude, they're fun. They're, they're absolutely fun. But anyway, yeah, just uh, I want to hear your thoughts. You know, if you guys like this, you know, let me know. Uh, I want to keep doing this. This is great. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless you. And stay safe, please.